That is CPR being administered to somebody by a machine. And whether it's done by a machine or by two hands, it has to be that forceful to restart the heart. What I really love about that video is that it demonstrates what effective CPR looks like. It's brutal. Now you might be wondering why I, a hospice nurse, am talking about the brutality of CPR. It probably seems like a given that people who go on to hospice are not going to choose full code to receive CPR should their heart stop beating. I wish that were true. In the US, the regulations for hospice require that we allow people choice. If they want to come on to hospice and be full code, we cannot deny them admission to services. Thankfully, most people who come onto hospice do not want to be a full code, but one is too many and there are many more than one. CPR can save lives and it is appropriate in certain situations, such as a, what looks to be a young man, on a sports field. Now watch this video again and try to picture the person being very fragile and someone who was already dying before their heart stopped beating. CPR is performed on a dead person to try to restore life. Even if it is successful and with a hospice patient, it's usually not going to be, it will not be a very good quality of life if they are spending the rest of it with fractured ribs. The best decision for code status for a hospice patient is always going to be DNR, A-N-D. Do not attempt resuscitation. Allow natural death.